Hi guys, today I want to talk about the SFC programming and now we wanted to write down a program a very simple program for a traffic light we have one traffic light and a pedestrian push button and pedestrian traffic lights and we wanted to write down a program for this traffic light to work so now first of all we have this screen and this screen is connected to this variables so we have some variables and number of variables amber light green light pedestrian light pedestrian memory pedestrian push button pedestrian um, state to for pedestrian state and the red light in all these lights green light is connected here so you can see that animation green light boolean an amber light here red light here and pedestrian green and pedestrian red here and we have one push button called crossing for the user to state when he wanted to cross the road so now we wanted to make a section and the section is SFC we select SFC sequential function chart let's call it main because that's the main part of our program okay now we need to count number of status that we have for routine of the program we have one two three status I'm saying the routine because that's without any interruption so if you wanted to just do it for three status it's very easy to do it with sequential function charts actually it is the easiest way the only thing that we need to do is to just select a step transaction sequence and after that it is going to ask us how many steps you want so we have three steps okay and then then here then here we're gonna have some status some names here if you are okay with these names you can keep them but if you are not okay you can change them for example I can call this red state and I need I always in sequential function charts I need one initial step just one initial step so let's make this to be the initial step then after that I need to go to actions and set up required actions so which kind of actions I want here I have different kind of actions N R S L D P D S and P1 um, one of the action I am going to use two actions here one of them is L L means high for a limited time so let's say for a limit that limited time is limited time for a state the first state let's say it is five seconds okay and after that I can say which variable I want to be high since the first state was state red so I am going to connect it to the red red light and after that go to a new action the next action can be again the next action going to be D means delay again I can have five seconds and this time means that after five seconds here uh, means that after five seconds I want uh, this the state that I want to go after five seconds and that state will be the green state and here the green light green light so green light and I am going to add new action so what happening for five seconds red light going to be on and after that after five second green light going to be on okay <coughs> red state and then the red state here I need one transition the transition here going to be green state green light 
because what's happening here actually we set the green light to turn on after five seconds and now we can leave that red state go to the green state green state so that means that each state is actually going to <coughs> um, going to set the transition for the next state so here let's say in green state we want to stay four seconds and green light new action and the next action let's say after four seconds these two numbers are the same because we don't have a quiet time traffic light is always running after four seconds we want the amber light to turn on so amber light new action oh okay here is wrong i should change it to d and i should click on modify action so action modified okay and now here the condition to go outside of the state going to be the amber lights similar to the top one and here i can call this state the amber state because this state is actually working in amber and again for this state l let's say two second going to be on for amber state so amber light a new action and then the new action going to be the delay so again after two second delay red light going to turn on so then then red light going to be the transition so turning red light going to be the transition to where we need to have one jump here jump back to the first state and what is the first state the first state we call it we call it red state so actually I can select it from here red state okay now this program is ready but don't forget it's just uh, basic of program without any change so now I need to build it and I need to analyze it I'm going to stop that welcome back so I build it and analyze the program and download it in a PLC and you can see that it works just fine and then after one cycle finish it is going to the next stage and if I look at the screen you can see that green is on and then the amber and then the red and it just keep changing okay so now I want to modify the program to work for the traffic light as well here is my original program so I need to make some changes so in this stage I need to decide that what I want to do if I am having if uh, that push button has been pushed if the push button the pedestrian push button or crossing push button being pushed so now I can say I'm going to hold the order until amber and after amber I'm going to decide which way I want it to go if I wanted to do it this way I need to make some changes the first change that I need to do is making a new program a new section basically so I need to go to sections section modify that and uh, let's say that that section is a ladder section so let's call this p1 and in this section I'm going to say pushing I'm going to say pushing pushing pedestrian P 
pushing pedestrian push button going to set pedestrian memory because I need to hold the order pedestrian memory so obviously I need to use a memory but because I want this to be to act like a push button not like a switch I'm going to use P which is the rising age so now I have pedestrian memory I can go back to follow chart to the main program and I can make use of pedestrian memory so for pedestrian memory now I from amber I have two ways to go not just one way two ways so alternative way I need to select alternative branch that's branch and I'm going to have it here and then I need to transition one transition to go back to red and one transition to parallel status also the other thing is that here I need one variable but I don't have any variable that tell me exactly which way to go so again I need to go to P1 and make some changes here so with P1 I see that that's the memory okay but now I am going to make two other conditions and two different variables the first one red light red light going to be triggered in the amber state red light and pedestrian memory red light and pedestrian memory to set one variable called go let me call it go back to red this is a new variable so I need to this, this. and then after that copy and paste that here but red light pedestrian memory instead of go back to red go to pedestrian it's just a name nothing else so if red light is engaged and pedestrian memory go to pedestrian but if pedestrian if red light is engaged but pedestrian is not engaged so I need to change that to not not engaged then go back to red okay that's cool and now I can go back to my main program and make these changes so here let's go back to go back to red and here let's go to pedestrian now what he wanted to do in pedestrian state we want to have different things first of all I want to have solid red then after solid red I want to have green pedestrian green and after that follow the I want to have flashing red and after that solid red, solid red again and then I want to finally go back go back to one state and that state is not going to be the red state going to be the green state this time green state okay and I need some transition here one transition two transition three transition and four transitions okay 